morning welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be replacing the door on the g8 um, but first you're going to see a video of me taking the handle off of the the door the door that i just bought and i'm going to replace the handle with the door that's on the car because of the color and once i get that done then i'm going to move into replacing the door so let's get started got the door for the g8 and as you can see right there there's a small dent in it but other than that, the whole door looks good. I just got to pull the handle off. Um, it's a red handle on it. I got to pull it off and put the, the gray handles on the G8. Let's walk out to the G8 and I'll show you. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull this handle off. Put the gray handle on it. That way I don't have to worry about the painter trying to paint inside of there. So I'll just go ahead and replace the handle on it and get that going. So, But you can see the dent in his door. I just didn't want all that bundled up so that's why I replaced the door so the only thing the body guy have to do is pull this out a little bit and that's pretty much it he pulled that out he pulled that out and that should be good there was nothing wrong with the operation of the door so the door closes perfectly fine because it didn't mess up any of that okay what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go in there and pull the handle off. So I'm going to pull this plastic back right here and see if I can get in there and take the handle off. So, all right. So first thing I'm going to do is pull this plastic back. Okay. Look like I found the two bolts that hold the handle on. Um, I didn't have to pull the, the, the plastic all the way off. But right behind the plastic, you got one right there. And over here, if you pull this cap out, there's another one sitting right there. So let's go ahead and get these bolts out and see if I can pull the handle off. Okay, I got the handle off, as you can see. Um, the two bolts that were in it are 10 millimeter bolts. Here's one nut and there's a bolt. Um, thought the bolt was still in it. The bolt must have dropped out, so let me find the bolt. Oh, actually it's still in there. The boat's still in the hole. So let me grab a magnet and grab the boat out. Actually, it'll be easier if I just leave that, that boat in there. And that way the other one would line up um, perfect. So I'm just going to leave that boat sitting in there. It's not hurting anything. This is what I was saying when I said that the door still operates perfectly fine. Um, it didn't damage any of this. So... That's why the door still closes perfectly fine. Just most of the damage is just right down in here. So this part here just has to come out. And they pull that out a little bit and that should be fine. But nothing else is damaged. Looks like the main bolts that hold this door on. It's um, there on the open up the passenger door in the front. And you see your bolts right here. Your four bolts right there it look like those are the main bolts that hold the door on and you got this plug right here pop the plug out actually let me go get um, a little screwdriver or something to pop this plug out okay once you pop this little plastic piece out, take the rubber off the plug and pop this plastic piece out, you'll see your actual plug for the door. And you can go ahead and disconnect this, just like that. And that part is off the door. So now we're gonna go ahead and concentrate on taking these bolts here off. And I think it may be easier if we take these bolts off while the door is still latched. Then it'll hold up. It'll hold itself up, at least on the back. So let me go ahead and get the impact. Um, so I can go ahead and take these bolts out. Look like they're 13, 13 millimeter. But I'll let you know once I figure it out. Okay, I got the door off. Um, what you want to remove before you remove those big bolts out of these big brackets right here is you want to remove the center bolt out of this piece right here which this is an eight millimeter so you want to remove that first that way the door can hold itself and then you can remove these out the four bolts in that and those two are 13 millimeters 
So now I'm about to take this inside of the garage and pull the panel off. Okay, I got both of the doors side by side. And what I'm about to do now is pull the door panel off of this door and take the brackets off of this door and put everything over on that door over there. So I also got to change the handle out, remember? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to time lapse this and get started. Okay, there were a screw right here in the bottom of the door panel. There's another screw right there. And there was a screw, two screws up under the actual hand rest. You see these holes right there? And there's a screw right up here to where the handle to get, to let, to open the door was. So once you take those off, you can lift up on the door panel and it slides up right off this this it's like slid down on top of this so and then you have to just take these two cables off light yellow on top dark yellow on the bottom so What you saw me do at the end of that time lapse is once you get the door on and I close the door, it didn't feel smooth when it was closing. And I can see the door shifting just a little bit. So what I did is I closed the door like it's closed now. I went through and I loosened up these bolts, just loosen them up. And when you loosen those bolts up, the, the door would kind of move. And I let the door move into the place that it wanted to be. And then I tightened them back. And I came over here and I did the same thing with these bolts. I loosened them up. And you can kind of see the door shift when you loosen them up. And once it shifts in the position that it wants to be, then I just go ahead and tighten them up. And we're good to go now. And of course, I got everything over here tightened up. And let's test out the handle from the inside. Make sure I'm not going to get locked out. All right. So it opened like it's supposed to. All right. All right. So that does it for the door. The door change. Um, I got the original gray handle on here. Um, I'm going to have to also paint this back black. Because, you know, all the other chrome on the car was changed out to black. Or painted black. So got that done. I need to go ahead and get the piece for the front wheel or find out what's going on with that. And it's ready to go in the paint shop. Actually body work to get that pulled out and then go into the paint shop. So but other than that, everything is good. Okay, just finished putting the door on a G8. As you saw, it wasn't that hard. Just transferring the stuff from the old door over to the new door. Um, There's a little... Well, you know, I just had to figure out some clips and where some bolt um, screws and stuff was. But other than that, everything was good. You saw where I pulled the panel back off after putting it back on. It's because I forgot to connect the latch cables um, on the inside of the panel. So I had to take that back off and hook that up. And um, I put the door on. You see, I did it with just me by myself. But just like most things in life, like sex, it works better if you had two people. But it is possible to do it with one person. So um, thanks for watching. 
um, please click like, subscribe, share these videos. I couldn't find that one G8 video on YouTube where they did a complete door replacement. So this is the video. Share this video so your fellow G8 people um, can reference it. You know these cars always get hit. So now if your car get hit in the side, get you a door, replace the door. You don't have to worry about all that bundle. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.